All right, guys. Good morning, everybody. Uh, let's do a recap today. I had an amazing trading day. Market, as you know, was very volatile today. The whole global market, uh, stock market is uh, dropping. There are two reasons for that. The first of all is that the job market uh, came in and it was uh, the unemployment ticked up significantly. So now everybody is panicking that maybe the recession is coming. And that puts pressure probably on the Federal Reserve to lower the rate faster. A lot of people say there might actually be an emergency cut rate uh, next week uh, by Federal Reserve. Uh, the Japan situation is also not great. There's something called the uh, you know, Japanese yen uh, carryover trade. And the, the way that it works is that you, know, you borrow money from uh, low interest rate countries and then you deposit it on the high interest rate uh, countries like a USD and then you make money out of this interest rate but when the exchange rate of these two starts really going up like Japanese yen is going to get slowly much much uh, weaker then uh, that impacts those people who did this uh, carryover trade from the spread of interest rates so the Japan uh, market really dropped significantly because there's a risk that now a lot of those people who've done that they have to cover they have to really uh, sell those positions and come back and cover their Japanese yen and that could be a risk to the global financial market you can't do this on all currencies like you can't just do like a Mexican pesos and USD because you know those are considered kind of junk currencies you can do it only on the very solid currencies and the Japanese yen is the only solid currency float currency that has enough liquidity that trades amongst all the pairs and it's super uh, low interest rate but anyway, so that's the risk. And a lot of people, obviously, when uh, the, they know that interest rates are going to come down, the value of the bonds are going up. That's why the bond market is going up and the equities are coming down. They usually, that's why the 60-40 portfolio is for, uh, uh, for the hedge funds. So I had a great trading day on NVIDIA and TQQ. Uh, so as you see my positions, you can see it on my screen. So I still have 2,000 shares of TQQ at 51. There are some open position. I have some orders at 55 that I want to sell. So as you see, $42,000 trade on TQQ, $21,000 on NVIDIA. We traded uh, with Jared at the open. He traded NVIDIA super crazy and nice. And you see the VEO position obviously pulled back. This one was up $1.2 million and now it's only $640,000. And I don't plan to sell it. Why? Because... Um, why would I? You know, this is a normal, healthy pullback in the market. And as you see, year over year, we are still up 10, 15 percent on SPY. So there is no reason uh, to panic. In my opinion, the long term portfolios on the equity should not be panic sell if you don't plan to use that money. Uh, this is very important that you, you know, just just forget the password. You know, I told you before in a couple of months that people should actually start uh building a bond portfolio that's why i had some vclt before that i sold last week by mistake so you know try to add some bonds into your portfolios again 60 40 is the normal thing like in 2008 when the market crashed 40 uh, percent on the stocks the bond rallied 20 percent. so you you know your portfolio can kind of uh, get that though 2022 was the only year that the bonds and the stocks dropped at the same time because of the you know, fast uh, cycle of uh, interest rate hike but let's see how we actually trade it so really super nice super easy market was gapping down nasdaq was down six percent at one time uh, and i told everybody in the chat room that uh, don't get the bias in the day that russia attacked ukraine in february 24 i think 2022 the market gapped down four percent but rallied another four percent so it was a kind of an eight percent move and closed actually green uh, from the previous day close so you can't really have a bias toward it. You got to see the price action. And as day traders, we are, you know, have the advantage of looking at the price action in and out quickly. Investors are panicking, but uh, as a day trader, you're looking for uh, the, uh, this. And I added TQQ in my uh, watch list. And again, TQQ is a leverage product of the index of QQQ. I haven't traded that for a very long time because in a bull market, indexes don't move much. They go up, but they don't move much. In a bear market, the indexes start moving significantly and then TQQ is good for trade. So, uh, and, you know, we did uh, trade the typical opening range breakout. So as you see, market was gapping down, came above the VWAP. Look at my screen. Let me actually bring my Epic Pen as well. So can I, uh, oh, actually it's here. Okay. So um, as you see here, even though TQQ was down like 15, 20%, uh, 
as you see on my screen, it really popped up above the VWAP. As soon as it holds these moving averages, I went long, the higher pre-market was around here. So I went long, you know, never really came below the VWAP, partialed out, went up, dropped, I added more on this here at 51, and then I partialed out again, and then did a really nice uh, consolidation. I added more, I brought my average to 51, 57, as you see, and then the news of ISI, ISM came, I don't know exactly know if what was what happened, but I was ready to get it stopped out here or popped up and popped up and I started partially here as you see like a bus. And then I still have some orders left at 55. So again, I just, you know, I came up. I haven't been stopped out yet. And as you see here, still it might still continue going higher. On a five minute candlestick, uh, as you see here, very nice five minute opening range breakout. So the five minute is here, you see. Popped up, added more, and then all the way up to 55. I think there's a good chance that we hit to 55. Again, the market volatility came down, stabilizes everything. And you know, considering everything, the market didn't turn out to be super crazy. Like a spy is only down 3%, Q is 3%. Uh, so it didn't turn out to be a disaster like Asia. Asia was a disaster. Um, and the same as NVIDIA. So NVIDIA, the very, a very nice uh, you know, situation on NVIDIA, five minute range breakup. I sold NVIDIA way too early. Uh, but uh, uh, it's because I just uh, added my position to TQQ. And as you see here, guys, it turned out to be a super profitable day uh, in terms of day trading. Again, uh, the long-term uh, positions are a little bit tricky, but uh, it is what it is. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta live it like that. And uh, yeah, so if you have any question, guys, email me. Um, Bitcoin was a disaster. It's down 13% at trading at $54,000 again. Uh, crypto was supposed to be a hedge against inflation and turned out to be just another volatile asset, another speculative asset. And that narrative that Bitcoin is going to save us from, you know, debasing the currency or hedge against inflation, blah, 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 is nonsense. If anyone is still buys into that, uh, they're delusional. It's an asset that it trades, but it's a speculative, like, uh, like gold or like other stuff. Is uh, just uh, you gotta trade it like a commodity. It's not a hedge against uh, the world ending. I'm sorry, I know people are religious toward crypto, but uh, you can see it. You know, an asset shouldn't drop like 14, 15 percent. It was supposed to be a store of value. It's supposed to be save us from Federal Reserve printing money, but it, did, it didn't. If anything, is destroying people's life. Um, I'm sorry, I know a lot of people are religious on that and probably they hate me, but uh, I'm just telling what I see. Feel free to do whatever you want <laughs> with your money. All right, guys. Well, that's it. Thank you so much. I really appreciate, uh, I really appreciate uh, your um, attention. So if you have any question about our funded accounts or Peak Capital Bootcamp, email me, andrew at bearwoodtraders.com or just uh, leave a comment and uh, yeah, join us live on YouTube and we're going to give you a laptop uh, on live on YouTube, guys. Thanks so much and all the best.